If you've been considering a membership with Costco, Sam's Club, or other warehouse stores, I'll tell you whether it's worth paying for coming up. Hello, I'm Bobby Lee, and this is a Money Crashers Crash Course about whether shopping at a warehouse store is worth it. You've probably heard your friends or family brag about the great deal they got on a new flat screen TV at Costco, or maybe the deep discount they got on a pack of paper towels at Sam's Club. And how about those cheap pizzas and hot dogs? It's no secret that millions of Americans have figured out the allure of bulk buying at warehouse clubs. One annual membership fee allows you access to the club and all of the services it offers. In fact, over a third of America holds a membership with a warehouse club. But before you buy that membership, let me tell you about your choices. There are three major warehouse club chains in the nation. Costco is the largest in terms of revenue with almost 700 warehouses worldwide. It started in 1983 in Seattle and differentiates itself by focusing on high-end goods such as organic food and designer jeans. Sam's Club is the second largest warehouse club and is owned by Walmart. With approximately 850 stores worldwide, Sam's focuses on general merchandise ranging from groceries and office supplies to big ticket items such as jewelry and furniture. The third biggest warehouse club is BJ's Wholesale Club. With only 210 stores, BJ primarily serves the East Coast. Like Sam's and Costco, it offers a wide range of goods and services. So why would you want to take advantage of a warehouse store? Here's seven reasons. First, you'll have access to great prices. According to a 2011 study by ShopSmart, both Costco and Sam's Club beat supermarket prices on most groceries by at least 20%. A few items offer even bigger savings. Batteries, Cheerios, and Thomas's English muffins were priced less than half of what they cost at supermarkets. In a separate report, Kiplinger says warehouse stores offer the best prices on tires, noting that one high-performance brand sells for around 20% less at Costco than it does at Sears. Kiplinger also says that warehouse clubs have great deals on TV sets, beer, designer watches, and even coffins. Second, you'll have access to incredible services. Costco members can get a special deal on insurance, auto rentals, and travel packages. The store also offers banking services, eye care, and water delivery for home and businesses. Costco even has teamed up with auto dealerships to give its customers discounts on many car makes and models. Sam's Club has an even wider menu of services, including health screenings, home improvement, and legal services for businesses. On top of that, both stores offer discounts on movie tickets. Third, warehouse stores have high quality brands. Consumer Reports says that many products from Costco's house brand, Kirkland Signature, are as good as or better than their name brand competitors. The magazine's editors recommend Kirkland's laundry detergent, batteries, bacon, mayonnaise, and organic chicken stock. The magazine also gives high marks to members mark laundry detergent, a Sam's Club brand, in a 2014 test. Fourth, warehouse stores are a one-stop shop that allows you to condense many errands into one. You can pick up your glasses, get new tires, book a vacation, and buy groceries all in one trip. Fifth, they've got free samples. While this is no free lunch, shoppers at warehouse stores can stroll through the aisles noshing on samples of assorted food items. Of course, they hope that you'll buy the product, but it's a great opportunity to sample new items without buying the full package. Sixth, warehouse stores provide a more pleasurable shopping experience. In a survey by Consumer Reports, Costco shoppers reported being more satisfied with their experience than shoppers at nine other major retail chains. Similarly, a 2014 survey about customer service by Temkin found that it's very similar results. Sam's Club was rated among the top 10 companies with 81% of customers saying their service was either good or excellent. Costco and BJ's came in a bit lower down the rankings with a respectable 79%. Seventh, they've got great return policies. If you don't like the item, take it back, even nine months later. Both Costco and Sam's Club offer a 100% money back guarantee on virtually everything they sell. If you're not satisfied for any reason, you can return an item with your receipt at any time. One exception is electronic items, which can't be returned after 90 days. For fresh food items, Sam's Club's guarantee is even stronger. You can return the item for double your money back or get your money back plus a replacement. Now there are some downsides to shopping at these warehouse clubs. Here are five of them. First, all of them charge a membership fee, anywhere from $45 to $100 and up. At the upper level membership, which costs roughly twice as much as a regular membership, it gives you 2% back on nearly everything in the store. But that means you have to spend between $2,500 and $2,750 per year before the higher level membership will pay for itself.
Second, all the packaging is so big. Warehouse stores are known for their jumbo sized packages. Buying in bulk saves money and makes sense with certain products you use a lot of, such as mouthwash or soap. But it can be a problem with products that don't keep well. You really don't want to get stuck with five pounds of cheese unless you're really going to eat it before it goes bad. The extra food is just a waste of money. Third, warehouse stores are ripe for impulse buys. Every warehouse store is crammed with delectable and enticing goods. You may walk in wanting cereal and milk, but you could walk out with a new vacuum cleaner and luggage. If you are easily tempted to overspend while shopping, warehouse stores are fraught with possible dangers for you. Fourth, they don't take most coupons. Neither Costco nor Sam's Club accepts manufacturers' coupons. BJ's takes them, but only in paper form. The stores aren't set up to take mobile coupons. Fifth, some deals aren't so great. Some items may be a better bargain elsewhere. Kiplinger says that warehouse stores aren't your best choice for appliances as their selection is limited and they don't offer the frequent sales that you'll find at other stores. ShopSmart notes that you can get a better price on Coca-Cola and Tide detergent by looking for a sale or better yet, stacking a sale with a coupon at your local supermarket. So at this point, you might be wondering how warehouse clubs actually make their money. Warehouse stores work on a different model from other retail stores. Regular retailers such as Walmart make their money from the market they charge, which is the difference between the wholesale price that they pay for goods from their suppliers and the retail price they charge to customers. Kiplinger's reports that the markup at typical retail stores is typically somewhere between 25 and 50%. On the other hand, warehouse stores charge a much lower markup, about 14%, and make up for the lost profits by charging a fixed annual membership fee to each customer. That's why these stores are sometimes referred to as buying clubs. You pay up front to become a member, and in return, you get to buy products at rock bottom prices. In addition, you gain access to various other special deals and services. Deciding whether buying a warehouse club membership is worth it depends on how you shop. The easiest thing to do is to visit a warehouse to check prices on the items you buy regularly. Jot down the prices on a piece of paper or make a note of them on your phone, then compare them to the prices at your local supermarket. In order to gain entry, you'll need to tag along with a friend or family member that is a member. In the case of Costco, if you can get your hands on a Costco gift card, they'll let you in as well without a formal membership. With Sam's Club and BJ's, you may be able to score a one-day shopping pass on their website. Generally speaking, warehouse club stores are likely to be a good deal if you are to buy in bulk, committed to a certain brand, or the stores are conveniently located. If you decide to buy membership, just keep in mind four simple tips to ensure that you're getting a good deal. First, don't give in to temptation. Bring a list and stick to it. Second, check the unit price. Warehouse stores don't always beat supermarkets on prices, as we mentioned before. The best way to be sure you're getting a good deal is to compare unit price, which is the cost per an ounce, per quart, or whatever the product is measured in. Some stores have the unit price of different products marked on the shelf, but if your warehouse store doesn't, you can just whip out your phone and calculate it by dividing the total price by its size. Then compare that number to the price you're paying at your regular store. It helps to make a list of the unit prices you typically pay for the items you buy most often. That way you can just look at the list to compare prices instead of trying to remember one number while staring at another. Third, don't overbuy. When you compare unit prices, the biggest container often looks like the best deal. But a five gallon tub of mayonnaise is not gonna be a bargain if there's no way your family can use it before it goes bad. If you're buying something with long shelf life, such as shampoo, then buying by the case is no problem. But when you're shopping in the food department, try to be realistic and go for a size you can handle, even if the unit price is a bit higher. Fourth, focus on finding the best deal. If you take advantage of the warehouse store's variety to do all your shopping in one trip, you're almost surely to be overpaying for something. To get the most bang for your buck, concentrate on items that are great deals in your particular store. And if you're looking for big ticket items such as jewelry or electronics, take the time to shop around. Don't just assume warehouse store prices are the best. So the bottom line here is that the decision on whether it's worth it to shop at a warehouse store is pretty complex. Do your homework and take advantage of trial memberships available online. Let's review what we went over today. First, we talked about the three big warehouse club chains in the country. Second, we talked about why you'd want to shop at a warehouse store. Third, we talked about why you wouldn't want to shop at a warehouse store. Fourth, we talked about how warehouse stores make their money. 
Fifth and finally, we talked about things to keep in mind when deciding on buying a membership and the best way to go about testing out the experience. For more information on the best tips for shopping at a warehouse club, visit our website at moneycrashers.com. For Money Crashers, I'm Bobby Lee, and this has been a crash course on whether shopping at a warehouse club is worth it.